Well, I saw a resilient team. You know, I saw a, a, a carbon copy of, of what we saw in regular season as a, a no-quit attitude in our guys. Um, I saw a team that was ready to play and compete hard. And, uh, you know, really proud of our, of our guys for uh, for the way they conducted uh, themselves. And, and, you know, we had our back against the wall, found, found ways to come back in games on both nights and uh, make it a game and, and give ourselves an opportunity to win. And ultimately, that's what you, you want to ask for uh, your players. And, and they certainly responded. Um, you know, the... It's also gut wrenching losing in, in double overtime last night and overtime tonight, uh, but that's experiences that these these uh, players that our players are going to take with them, and and go back and get ready for next year. You know, this year it's been a tough long year um, with COVID and everything. Um, you know, we had, after Christmas we had a long stretch where the guys were stuck in the house and um, you know we weren't allowed to do too much and. You know, we slowly got back to practicing, and then after practicing for a few weeks, uh, we got to play our first game. Um, I'll never forget that feeling. The boys were so excited to play, and um, I mean, it, it was great to get back after after such a long stretch. And um, yeah, I, I love the boys. They 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 were awesome this year. Um, it was fun to go to battle each and every night with them, and uh, yeah, it was a great year. Well, it was an extremely long year, like just with the. Uh uh, with all the restrictions and, and the way we had to, uh, you know, compose, we only played 37 games in, in what it seems like two years uh, crammed into one. But uh, to the players' credit and to our staff's credit, uh, I thought we did a good job of, of just growing as a team. And, and even though we didn't play 70 games, uh, we did we did learn a lot. Of, we had a lot of practice time, a lot of off-ice opportunities to, to learn about life and and even their schooling was done. Uh, I'm really proud of the guys. Uh, the guys were uh, worked hard on and, and off the ice and found ways to connect with each other and, and stay engaged throughout the season, which is not a, an easy season to stay engaged. And I thought I was extremely proud of our players for the way they conducted themselves and al also proud of our staff. Entire staff was good. Uh, you know, from the equipment manager, Macker, that came in and, and Graham Black to to our coaching staff who, who work with them relentlessly day in, day out. So I want to thank them. I thought they did a great job. Yeah, to start um, with my billets, uh, they've been amazing with me throughout my whole career. Um, you know, we've always had a good relationship. Um, they've always helped me out in every single way that they could, and I can't thank them enough. Um, then my parents um, back home, they're so supportive. Um, you know, they traveled all over Quebec all over the Maritimes to watch me play. And, um, you know, this year has been tough. I haven't been able to see them, but um, they've been so good uh, to support me and always talking to me and keeping in touch. And um, my brothers back home, they've always always supported me. Um, my girlfriend back home, she's been amazing, her and her family. Um, the coaches, um, the coaches have been amazing, the ones I've worked with. Um, I wouldn't be the player t I am today without them. Um, and last, the organization as a whole, uh, everyone in the front office. Um, and I, I want to thank, personally thank Mr. Irving uh, for everything he's done for me. Uh, this is a first class organization and anyone to, that be, can throw on the, the Moncton Wildcat jersey, um, you know, they're, they're very lucky to, they're in, and they're in very good hands. So um, yeah, the support doesn't go unnoticed and thank you guys all so much.